Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I'm gonna do something a little bit different tonight. Um, I had a color inspiration. The picture is right at the beginning of the, this video. This picture in the morning, it was, um, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. It was, I have this film that's on my window and when the sun comes up, it just produces this prism. So I wanted to do somewhat of a prism pour. Um, I listed my colors earlier. This is my base, which is Creative Inspirations, Payne's Gray and Thalo Blue. And it's not really gonna be a base, so it's gonna be like a, a flow extender. So um, I'm gonna get ready to do this right now. It's gonna be like a, a ring pour, straight pour kind of thing, but I want the prism to flow down onto the blue and I want it to, I don't know if this is going to work at all guys, I want it to, I might do it like so it's, you can hang it like this and have like the di uh, the prism here and then have the, the dark blue there. So I'm going to probably start, uh, I'm not going to pour this whole thing either, this is an 18 ounce cup, so I probably want half of it. Just a tiny bit of white in the bottom. I've, <laughs> I mixed up double the paint that I needed, just in case. <laughs> so this is the yellow. And this is my orange. And this is my red. It has a little bit of magenta in it. I did a drip test on these colors before I um, the, the orange was a little bit, um, what do you call it, thick. So I had to add some water to it. And then the green. Okay, so this will be interesting. Oh, let me see if I can... I was going to do this on a huge canvas. Um, a 24 by 48, but turns out that canvas is warped. And how I could, you can tell it's warped is it kind of teeter-totters. Um, so let me pour it like right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, it looks like the yellow is going to take over. Ah, shucks. Oh well. <laughs> I'll try and fix that. There we go. Don't know that there's any fixing that. Darn it. I'm 
Well, I do the best I can with this. Poor dismount. Everything can always be fixed though. Let me see if I can fix these. That paint probably will show up underneath anyways. How pretty. All right, so I'm gonna tilt it a little bit before I put the, uh, no, I'm gonna put the flow extender around it. I don't want to want it to roll over on itself. So Sorry, I'm not talking. Concentrating. Hope everybody had a nice weekend. I've had this in my head for a couple of weeks. I took that picture a couple of weeks ago and it was like, oh my God, I've got to do a painting like this. Just hope it turns out. So this um, flow extender, I mixed those paints with Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium, but I also, the Liquitex pouring medium I used was the iridescent to give it a little bit more bling. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm gonna try to um, tilt this out now. Can't see on that side, so I'm just kind of winging it. All right, here we go, guys. around in a circle first. Oh, I don't like that way. Move around in this kind of a circle first. My uh, finger fingerlings were getting messed up a bit. And then I'm gonna go straight off that corner. Too fast. Too fast. Then I'm going to bring it down this way. I don't know if you guys can see that. I do want a lot of negative space. The white is just Artist Law Flow White and it's mixed with um, Liquitex Pouring Medium and Floetrol. I didn't put any other colors in there. All right, I'm gonna fix my hand 
hands off here for a split second. Look at this. Bring it back this way. Ooh, look at that. Now, I don't know where this thing came from, <laughs> but. Bring it back to the middle. And bring it down. I've lost a lot of my green. Usually green takes over a painting too. And see how little tiny bit of that white I put in? And, um, uh oh, I'm getting squigglies. Um, yeah, I put just a little bit of white in and it just bloomed like that. This is cool. I'm liking it. Except, I like this part here, but I don't like that part there. So, let's see what we can do about that. Bring it back to center. Maybe I can squish them. There's cells coming up, and I wasn't expecting that at all. I'm going to take some of those... Um, wonky looking um, fingerlings off. Keep the, the rest of it. I just have one more to go off there. There we go. I didn't even torch this. Well, I kind of didn't want to because I really didn't want cells, but I'm getting them anyway. But, eh, not bad. I really like this. It's different. All right, I am going to torch this now. And I do want to do another painting tonight, so um, I'm gonna get my corners. Not too much that's uh, lacking here. Not right there. Just turn this around, make sure I've got everything. And I did. All right, I don't hate the cells because <laughs> it looks like they're gonna come up anyways. But that's kind of cool, guys. Yeah, I didn't want the red to be like a bright red. I, I kind of wanted it to be, had some magenta in it. So that worked out really well. Here's my torch, here we go. The lines are starting to get a little bit more defined too. Uh 
painting number one for the night. I am going to do another one. What do you think, guys? This is kind of cool. Yeah, I really lost my green. I'm really surprised. I mean, I've got a little bit of it here and some on the, I was hoping that there would be like a whole great big thing on the outside, but it didn't, that didn't happen. Whoops, I just hit it. I hate when I do that. Okay, so it looks like there are cells coming up, but it's kind of cool, like right here. Um, I can only attribute that to the, um, the flow troll. Oh, no, never mind. There was water in, in my um, flow extender. So anytime you put water in a flow extender, you can almost, or in any paint really, it really creates the cells for the cloud pores is the amount of water. Um, it's, this is not bad. This looks like it's gonna have a little bit more transparency to it. So I'm gonna leave it here for a little while. Um, I'm wondering if I should, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna put you on um, time-lapse. See if, if there's anything that happens, then you guys get to see it first. And I'm gonna go uh, take care of some business. I really like these. I'm hoping everything stays. Um, been having issues with my my area here not being level and I just saw oh there it is I just saw on um, Tammy Anderson's channel that she has found a solution to leveling your it's a, a it's a, a leveler but that's what, exactly what it does so I went ahead and ordered one and I'm hoping uh, it helps out with this because yeah my house I whenever I have Lake Michelle in the backyard um, it tends to bring this patio down just a little bit more it's sinking <laughs> so okay guys I'll put you on um, speed dial I put you <laughs> that's funny I'll put you on uh, time-lapse guys so here it is so there's not going to be any uh, sparkle or shimmer to this one because I didn't put any in it but look at those lines and I do have a few cells coming up there's one big one there and a couple on the corner and white always tends to produce some cells and then I've got these that are kind of cool because they kind of um, border the pore. It's pretty cool. And especially like right here, it looks like lacing. Very cool. Although I wasn't, see now there, there's where the sparkle is. That's the iridescent medium. So I'm kind of happy with this. It's different for me. And uh, I got that color inspiration a couple weeks ago and I'm on to my next painting.